We're wrapping up News Literacy Week with an inside look at our station. And if you've ever wondered questions like, how do you guys get your news stories? Take a look at this. To better serve you, here's a look at a story from start to finish. This is the conference room here in the WPTV newsroom. It's where we would normally have our morning meetings, but COVID-19's changed that. Now we do everything through Zoom. It started in just a minute. Good morning. All right. As part of News Literacy Week, let's, let's do a round of pitches. We're showing you the process of how an idea becomes a story. I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. That. First, a morning Zoom meeting led by our Dayside executive producer, Andy Delancey. All right, well, why don't we go through what we know that we've got so far? So far, we have Ryan, as far as I know, set on the public's vaccine shelf life story. Ryan, is that something that you think that you can turn today? Our managers listen to the story pitch. Because we've been waiting to hear back from Publix. There might be a news tip within your community that we fact check. You know, we're constantly, we're taking the feedback and changing. At this point, we talk about getting all sides of the story. I originally this morning reached out to an author. Who we follow reporter Matt Sesney. The short expectations of spring training this year, which is typically their season. He's pitched the story about the expectations for business owners and baseball spring training. Well, I tend to like that as a, you know, I think there's an impact for sure. With the story approved, it's time to team up with a photographer. Oh, we're working together today. We'll I'll gather video this. for the story. To meet up or what the plan is. And that's Brittany. And now setting up the interviews for the report. Hey, Vicki, it's Matt Sesney at Channel 5. How are you? Quarter to one and one, I'll probably be up there. All right, let's go find Vicki Parmalee. Matt's groundwork leads him to interviewing the owner of Jumby Bay Island Grill in Jupiter in person. Yeah. Are they going to do that for game days for you? Right down the street from where spring training takes place. Long time no see, right? Also, the Palm Beach County Sports Commission on Zoom. This is our season. And month. now the writing process starts. I'm pulling out quotes that will probably be used in the story or at least on the online web story. What can we do with this story? Online the... is where WPTV web director Adrian Stein steers the conversation for this story. If we could get a sound bite like that and use yeah. that on social and if you could, okay. you know, send in a, a few lines, just a, a starter web story so we can just have a link. Story. Yeah. Okay. Matt could post to Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, plus write a full story for WPTV.com. Matt then gets his story approved back at the station. Sounds good. Andy must approve what's said in the story. In Palm Beach County, the four major league teams. Then the story is off to be edited by Brittany. Pulling down the sound bites for now. And eventually, roughly eight hours after the process started. We're hoping for a better 2021. It's showtime. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney looks at the prospects of starting spring training on time. Just steps away from the spring training. And we've now showed you how a story is pitched and reported here at WPTV.